गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल लीव क्लासेस आई एम एंजली चिल्ड्रन एज योर एग्जाम्स आर राउंड द कॉर्नर एंड यू नो वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड आर बोर्ड बूस्टर सीरीज फॉर सेक्शन ए थ्री वीडियोज आर ऑलरेडी देयर टूडे वी आर डूइंग पार्ट फोर चिल्ड्रन डोंट वरी सोन आई विल बी स्टार्टिंग सेक्शन बी प्रोग्रामिंग एज वेल राइट चिल्ड्रन नाउ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट टूडेज क्वेश्चन I want all of you to take out your notebook, your pen, paper, and start solving. As soon as you see the question on your screen, pause the video, solve the question, and then only you tell your answers with my right children. So we start with the first question today. This video I have taken for arrays output based questions. Only output based questions I have taken in this, and the topic is arrays. first question string computer equals to ram hdd mouse so we have one array with the name computer and one more string array is there with the name parts in parts array the first element is computer 0 comma computer 2 you have to print system dot out dot print parts 1 parts 1 means this is zeroth index number and this is first index number and what is the value of computer 0 this will contain ram and computer 2 what it will contain the second index number value of computer so that will be mouse so ram is stored in zeroth index number of parts array and mouse is stored in first index number of parts array so you have to print parts 1 that means this element has to be printed so the correct option is option c that is mouse children i hope you have done it correctly right we move on to the next question int a equals to 2 3 4 5 6 this is int type array array name is a now print a 1 plus 2 here children whenever you get these type of questions first solve the questions yourself then tell you your answers with the options given and if that answer is present that means your answer is perfectly correct right so 1 plus 2 that is 3 plus a1 plus a2 this will be there and this is your index number 0 1 2 3 4 so a3 is 5 a1 is 3 and a2 is 4 right so here 5 plus 3 plus 4 this is 12 so 12 option is present as option d so option d is the correct answer right children question number 3 if int ar equals to 2 4 6 8 10 what is the value of a and a is ar dot length plus a4 children always mark the index number in arrays questions right so here the index numbers are 0 1 2 3 4 ar dot length this length function is used to find the size of the array now here the index number are 0 to 4 don't get confused with the index number and length length is 5 and index number are 0 to 4 so length will give you value 5 plus a4 what is the value of a4 that is 10 so this will come to 15 so option a is the correct answer right next we move on to this question int a equals to 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 s equals to 1 int i equals to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus s equals to s plus i into a i children whenever after any loop the braces are not given that means only one statement is there within the body of the loop so here only this statement is there so we have to solve it this is 0 1 2 3 4 s equals to 1 in the beginning already s is given 1 so s equals to 1 plus i for the first time what is the value of i i is 0 into a0 a0 is 1 so 1 into 0 will be 1 next time s equals to 1 plus i i is 1 into a i a1 is 2 so 1 plus 1 into 2 will be 3 1 plus 2 
नेक्स्ट टाइम एस इक्वल्स टू थ्री प्लस आई इज टू इन टू ए आई ए आई ए टू दैट इज थ्री सो दिस विल बी थ्री प्लस सिक्स दैट विल बी नाइन नेक्स्ट टाइम इट विल बी नाइन प्लस थ्री इन टू ए थ्री दैट इज फोर सो दिस कम्स टू ट्वेंटी वन नेक्स्ट इज ट्वेंटी वन प्लस फोर इन टू फाइव सो इट विल बी फोर्टी वन Yes, forty-one is present at option C, so forty-one is the correct answer, right, children? Now, question number five: If I N T X equals to one, two, three, five, seven, nine, thirteen, sixteen, what is the value of S? Now, let us solve it. S equals to math dot S Q R T. Children, I have already done the index numbering. X five. What is the value of X five? Is nine plus X seven is sixteen. This will be Math dot s q r t of twenty five. So square root of twenty five is five. So we can have either this option B or option C. But all of you know that math dot s q r t function returns always the answer in double type. So five point zero is the correct answer. Children, please don't get confused. Right? All of you are very intelligent. I know, and you will be doing it correctly in your exams also. Next question. Predict the output. Here, this is string array. And children, you know, whenever we initialize the array, we never put the size here. String x equals to Samsung, Nokia, Sony, Micromax, BlackBerry. System dot out dot print x three dot length. Children, again here zero one two three four. So x three. What is x three? X three is Micromax. And what is the length of this? This is eight. Right. Now here eight is the correct answer. Children, suppose the question is you have to print x dot length. Then what will be the output? X dot length only this. Now here when we are writing the array name and length without the brackets, that means we want to find the array size. So here the answer will be five because here how many? Elements are stored one, two, three, four, five. Again, don't get confused with the index number, right? So your correct answer for this x three dot length is eight. Option B is the correct answer. We move on to question number seven. Int a equals to new int five. This is simple. The declaration. Then the values are given of a zero one two three four. Total five elements. A one, a one is five. Plus a three, a three is four minus a four is nine. Now when you will solve it, it will be nine minus nine that will come to zero. So here option B is the correct answer, right, children? I suppose all of you are doing it correctly. Question number eight: Predict the output for i n t i equals to zero, i less than ten, i plus plus. Children, this is little tricky question. Please pause the video and solve it first. A i first time what is the value of i? It is zero, so a zero equals to zero. Then print a i. Now what will be the value printed? A i that is zero. Then i plus plus. Now here what will be the value of i? It will become one. And after as this is the last statement, it will come here and the value of i will become two, right? Then a i. Now what is the value of a i? I is two. This is equals to two. Print a i. Two will be printed. I plus plus. This will become three. Then when it will come here, it will become four. Now a i. That is a four is equals to four. So four will be printed, and then i will become five. And then when it will come here, it will become six. A six is equals to six. Six will be printed. Then it will become seven, and then updated, and it will become eight. A eight is equals to eight, and then it will become nine, and when it will come here, it will become ten, and the condition will become false. So what output it will generate? Zero two four six eight. Option A is the correct answer. Children, please practice these type of questions. Right? Next question. Predict the output. Car a equals to new car ten for i n t i equals to zero i less than ten i plus plus a i equals to i single 
quotes, right? Print AI. Now this loop will be executed 10 times from 0 to 9. AI, that means A0, A1, A2, A3, till A9, the value in all the elements of array A is I, right? And we are printing AI only. So 10 times this small I will be printed option D is the correct answer. Children, I would advise you to try all these questions on Java compiler and in case of any doubt, please do comment in the comment section. Now, this is very good question. int x equals to 0, 2, 4, 1, 3. For int i equals to 0, i less than x dot length. What is the value of length? It is 5. So, 0 to 4. Total 5 times this will be executed i++. plus plus. And here what you have to calculate the value of x1. Now first time when the value of x is 0, x0 equals to x and then x of i. That is x of 0 plus 3 and modulus x dot length. x dot length is 5. Now, please solve it. x of x0. x0 is 0 plus 3 modulus 5. It is equals to x of 3. Right? So, x0 for the first time, x0 equals to x3. What is the value of x3? x3 is 1. That means x0 is 1 now. Now, here, second time when the value of i will become 1. So, again, let us solve it. Here, it will be x1 equals to x of x1 plus 3 modulus 5. Now, the value of x1 equals to x of x1 plus 3 modulus 5. x1, what is the value of x1? It is 2. So, x of 2 plus 3 by 5. So, 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 modulus 5 and 5 modulus 5. All of you know that modulus operator gives you the remainder. 5 ones are 5 and remainder is 0. So, x1 equals to x0 and the value of x0 is already changed in the previous step. So, here it is 1 now right so here you have option b as the correct answer right children so children here we have completed our last question for this video and soon we will be doing more mcq questions and more programming questions also so if you haven't subscribed the channel till now please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you you may join us on our telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard. God bless you children.